Hi guys, welcome to our channel. It's me Eve and my mum Emmy is behind the camera today. Hi. And today our video is part one. This is part one of the video. Um so basically we're gonna be taking you through the machine, like telling you different stuff about the machine. And our next video, which is gonna be part two, is gonna be actually sewing and using the different stitches. So what are you gonna be doing? So I'm behind the camera and we'll be instructing Eve. Eve will be asking me questions. I'll be asking her questions. And in that way, we'll be taking you through the machine. So we're gonna start off with the machine being a top loading machine. So this is the machine we're demonstrating today. A top loading, it means the bobbin goes in at the top. Uh, it's got a little button there on the side which you press down and when you press that down the lid pops open you take it out and after you've uh, done the winding of the bobbin you put it in uh, ready for your machine to sew whenever you've done everything else uh, the other thing uh, a lot of people struggle with is the tension dial so the tension dial ranges from um, zero to nine so turn that eve so there's zero, and then not sure whether you can see nine there. And it can go up to nine. And as Eve is turning it, slow down a little bit, you can see some numbers in a square box. Number three, four, and five are in a square box, and the others are not in a little um, square box, in a little square. So the machine will have come set as a four, because this machine was brand new whenever we got it and there's also a marker on the side indicating where it should be that's the marker there and um, people struggle to understand the tension and what what it does um, if your machine has come set there is no reason for you to have to change the tension of the machine uh, if your machine has been bought second hand or you've had it for a while and not quite sure uh, what, what number it, it should be on, start with four. Um, so like I said, if you have bought it second hand, it might have not got the right number. So there's always a marking there where you turn it and it will show you uh, where to stop. So if you have tested it, trying to sew, and you're struggling let's say your fabric is pulling then turn your tension on a lower number so if it's set on four turn it on a lower number on three uh, and it should hopefully solve the problem with the fabric uh, pulling if it's puckering it means it's too loose you should turn it to a higher number and that should balance out your stitch you want the stitch on the top of your fabric and at the bottom of your fabric to be identical. So the tension makes it look right, um, but it can vary from machine to machine. So some might require four, some might require five, but it is something that you have to play with. I hope it makes sense. Um, the tension alone um, isn't always responsible for your machine having problems or so puckering or pulling tight. It also has to do with the way you are threading your machine. So the next thing we'll be looking at is the spool. What's the spool for Eve? Uh, where well you put the your spool holder. Thread. So you put your thread like this, and then you have your spool stopper. Ours came with a big and a smaller one, and then another one which you can put in here. So that is a spool holder that is horizontal. Um, and not all machines have got the horizontal uh, spool holders. So a lot of machines come with the spool holder up. And what I have done is I have set up uh, my other machine. I've put them out so that you can see that the spool holder can be at the back, like those machines here. That one is again at the back and that one is at the back. And to quickly come back to the tension uh, dial, the tension dial of this machine is here. But it could be that your tension dial is on that side of your machine. 
your tension dial might also look like this you can see the number and another one often with the vintage machine might look like that there and as you can see there's a marking here we can see if you turn it it's on four you can turn it here on four that one's also in the same place as the other one this one in a square box so as you can see there's always some sort of sign as to where to put your tension dial so to go back to the different dials you have got your top dial here what's that eve your stitch dial so you can see you've got the stitches here you've got a stretch stitch there and then your zigzag and straight stitches or oh, these ones can also be decorative stitches and then this is your stitch dial length so this decides on how long your stitch is so if you choose a small number one it's going to be a very small stitch if you choose a number four it's going to be a longer stitch the number between zero and one is for the button hole and what's this and this one here is the stitch with dial which often is also another one a bit complicated for people to understand not all machines come with with that so if your machine hasn't got that ignore this bit if you have a machine that has got a stitch with dial uh, in this case the five means needle position in the middle the zero means needle position on the left the number between one and four have got to do with the width of the stitches and you can notice the width of the stitches whenever you're for instance using one of the uh, fancy fancy stitches or you're changing the 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 zigzag stitch but we'll come that in the second part of the video um the off and on button eve what's that so for so when you've got your make sure you have your um what's it called again your uh, lead, uh, lead foot lead lead plugged in so that when you turn it on the light then comes on so you can see what you're sewing better make sure when you're not using the machine or not sewing anything you'll have it off and also that connects to the foot foot pedal so the foot pedal as eve is showing you is plugged in the the, the wire to the foot pedal is in two parts so one that plugs into the machine and one that plugs into the uh to the socket you just step on it gently like that. yeah press that gently always have it on the floor to press on and it controls your sewing um there's another foot that you will often hear us mention and that is the all-purpose foot the machine comes with different feet and the feed you can find in the accessory box is different feed and I often find that the more you spend on the machine the more feed your machine will come with again not something we're gonna go into today because uh, we don't want to give you too much information so you um, can't remember it all um, what else is there Eve the there hand wheel hand wheel so when you spin the hand wheel towards you or back from you, it makes the needle go up and down. So this controls the needle. So up and down, up and down. This machine also has a automatic needle threader so when you on pull the side. Yeah. We'll also show you how to do that in the next video. And it's got a cutter on the side, a thread cutter. Can you demonstrate the thread cutter, please? Mm-hmm. And you think it comes round and cut and the other thing that the machine has got as you can see drawings on it there is like numbers and arrows. here when you're threading it it shows you step by step like one two three four five and then here one two three how to thread your machine so that is just uh, oh yeah one the, more thing one more thing before we forget the reverse. reverse button what's the reverse button for Eve? so when you press down on the reverse button it goes over your stitch again so just in case you don't want the, uh, the edge of the thread to come out so to secure your stitch at the start of your stitch 
and at the end of your stitch and your reverse button can be one that you're pressing down but it could also be one that you need to push in um on this machine here push in here it's very stiff <laughs> a lot harder it's just when you push down this one's more at an angle as you realized yeah so that one is a lot easier but you'll find that uh with it being a newer machine that it's a lot easier to press down so i think we've covered so make sure you watch part two of this video where we're showing you actually how to sew and using different stitch stuff in the scene make sure you like and bye thank you bye